Hey, what's up, you two? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Optimus Prime in Minecraft. This is, of course, his truck form. However, I have also built his robot form, too. So if you're interested, you'll have to let me know down there in the comments. And liking the video couldn't hurt either. I'd actually really appreciate it. And that's pretty much everything. Let's get started. Before we begin, I can tell you that you only need a 6x17 block area. 6 blocks left to right and 17 blocks front to back. It's quite a small space really, you don't need that much room at all. You also need all of these materials that I have in my inventory right now. You might not believe it, but honestly we will need every single one of these and possibly more. I don't think I've forgotten a material, but I, I, I forget so often. I do apologize, apologize if I do. Pause the video if necessary, make sure that you have all of these materials, make sure you have enough room to make them, and if you have built this grid in your world, begin on the front left hand corner of the grid, move one block to the right, and this is where we'll start. We'll actually begin with a row of four stone bricks in a row. One, two, three, four. Place a row of blue behind this, blue concrete of course. Raise up the two middle blue concretes using red concrete. Place going behind the red concrete two rows of red. One, two, one, two. You can even join that down to the ground if you like. Then place a row of blue behind this. And place red concrete next to the blue. On either side. And then extend those red concretes upwards by an additional two. One, two, one, two. Connect them together at the top using blue concrete. Place stone brick slabs in front of the bottoms of the blue concretes. And extend the slabs left and right, like this. We are also going to add some details to the front of the truck. This is where it's going to get a bit difficult with materials. So I'm going to get everything out of my hotbar. And I need for this next part, black concrete, buttons, never brick slabs, never brick stairs, iron bars. I need blue carpet. I also need item frames and white stained glass paint, and I even need a little bit of grey carpet too. Okay, so, on the front of the truck we have headlights. The headlights are quite simple. We place an item frame in front of the left and right stairs, and place white stained glass paint in front of them. We also place upon those stairs an iron bar, just a single one. We also need stone slabs because on the remaining stairs we want to place on top stone slabs and that's like the grill of the truck. We also want to add wheels. Behind the blue concretes we want to place a black concrete, on top of the black concrete a never brick slab, and behind the black concrete a never brick stair, and place a button on the side of the black concrete. You also want to place blue concrete or blue carpet on top of the blue concrete. And repeat this for the opposite side. So over this side we want to place a black concrete behind the blue, never brick stairs behind, never brick slabs on top, buttons coming out of the side of the black, and blue carpet on top of the blue blocks, like this. We are missing a little bit because we also want to grab black stained glass pane and we just want to fill the window of the truck in on the front like this. And we also want to place a layer of light grey carpet on top of the red and blue row that we have at the top of the truck. As you can see, a lot of detail goes into just the early parts of the truck. It's, we've got a lot to make. 
We now want to move our way to the right of the drug. We'll build on the right hand side here. Well, I'm going to dump these materials again and I'm going to grab what I think we'll need. I, I believe that we'll need some blue concrete, some red concrete. We'll need some cobblestone wall, some tripwire hooks. We'll need stone brick stairs. We'll also need light grey and dark grey concrete. We even need a an end rod and we will also need a redstone torch and some more stuff too. Okay, so behind the rows of four red concrete, beginning from the bottom, we want to place two blue concrete coming back. So one, two. Place Upon the second blue concrete, three blue. One, two, three. Extend left. Add an additional blue concrete block in between this at the bottom. And then place a stone brick stairs in front of the bottom of the row. With a tripwire hook above it. And a cobblestone wall to the left of it. Place a grey concrete to the right of the hook with a light grey on top with two cobblestone wall on top one two and then an end rod on top of that perfect still moving backwards from the blue concrete that we have on the ground we want to place an upside down stone brick stair followed by a light grey concrete Followed by an upside down stair. On top of that stair, place a red concrete, and then a blue, and then a red, and then a blue, and place, place two blue coming forwards. One, two. Next to the red concrete, place a blue, and in between them, place a red. Fill in the remaining space using blue, like this. We also want to, and this is a material that we might have missed here, we want to have a redstone torch placed underneath the light grey concrete that we have at the base of the truck. Uh, the only purpose for this is to place a wooden, oh, a wooden trapdoor, an iron trapdoor on the side of it. And that will allow the trapdoor to shut. I, I, I'm not entirely sure what part of the truck this is. I think it's kind of like the fuel tank or something. But it has one on both sides. That's what you want to have for the side of the truck so far. Let's move to the opposite side of the truck. Now on the opposite side of the truck, we want to do a very similar thing. So we want to begin by taking the row of red and starting from the bottom, place two blue concrete moving back. One, two. And then go up on top of the second concrete by three. One, two, three. Connect to the right, leave a gap coming down, and then place an additional blue concrete. You want to place on the ground in front of the blue a stone brick stairs like this. Above that, place a tripwire hook. Right of that, a cobblestone wall. Left of that, we want to place a grey concrete with a light grey on top, two wall, one, two, and then an end rod, like that. We then want to, behind the blue concrete at the base of the truck, place an upside down stone brick stair, a light grey concrete, an upside down stone brick stair, and then on top of that, place a red, a blue, a red, a blue, and go right of the blue by two, one, two, place blue concrete right of the red, red in between, and blue all the way in the remaining spaces. We also want to place a redstone torch underneath that same light grey that we have at the base of the drug, and we want to have an iron trap door in front of that too. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we just want to seal up the top of the truck by using blue concrete. Like this. Cool. 
If you like, you may also add some black stained glass pane in the truck windows to the sides because, I mean, otherwise, I, I, I guess rain's getting in. That looks really cool. We've made a large amount of the truck now. Optimus is very proud. Now, once we have done this, we want to move our way to the back of the truck. And we want to connect the back of the truck together. At the bottom, we want to actually just fill in the entire back of the truck using light grey concrete. And that should be fine. And then starting from the base, we want to place back-to-back, upside-down stone brick stairs in front of the light grey, like this. Place three rows of light grey concrete on top of this. One, two, three. With back-to-back -back stone brick stairs on top of the light grey concrete, like this. We then want to place a row of grey concrete coming backwards from the two back-to-back -back stairs at the bottom. And we want to place a row of five grey concrete coming back. One, two, three, four, five. And the same wants to be moved wants to move backwards from the opposite stair, like this. And then we want to place stone brick stairs connecting the light grey concretes to the grey concretes like this. We then want to add some additional detail to the trailer. So on the sides of the grey concrete, we want to place <laughs> we need more materials. <laughs> Okay, let, let's dump this. We need some blue concrete, some red concrete. We need black once again, and some buttons. We need both of the Neverbrick slabs and stairs, and we also need some blue carpet, red carpet, and also the stone pressure plates. Okay, so beginning from the front of the trailer here, we want to place Never brick stairs left and right of the front of the trailer like this. Place a blue concrete moving backwards from the stairs. And then two black concrete moving back. One, two, one, two. And then red coming back from the black. And then never brick stairs moving back from the red. Place never brick slabs on top of the black concrete. And place stone pressure plates in between the never brick slabs. Place the opposite colour carpet on top of the blue and red blocks, meaning red carpet on top of the blue and blue on top of the red. And then place buttons in the sides of the blue or the black carpet, I should say to create Optimus's trailer. Also, that's it. <laughs> that's actually it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that there's anything left for us to do. I'm taking a very quick once over because I don't want to get this wrong. Oh, there is a very small detail. On the left-hand side of Optimus, there is a button here in that position. The blue concrete that is surrounded by the red concrete simply place a stone button. And that's pretty much everything. We have absolutely everything done. So I'll tell you what, let me clean up the ground and then we can take a look at the finished Optimus. And this ladies and gentlemen is what Optimus Prime should look like once he's been 100% fully completed. This is of course the truck version. If you wanted to add a large trailer you are more than welcome to, however you will have to use your imagination for that. I opted just to make like, a, whatever you would call this, like the trailer without the rig or however you want to say it, but this is Optimus, and if you would like to see the actual robot version of Optimus, you'll have to let me know down there in the comments, and by showing support by hitting that like. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please do remember to subscribe if you do want to keep up to date with the channel, and to see whether or not I do make any more Transformer-related content. Click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'd really help me out by actually sending you guys the videos <laughs> 
because otherwise that doesn't happen. If you would like to make anything else by me, I would highly recommend checking out the card system and the description below. I have such a huge variety of builds, as you can kind of see as I sweep the area around me. The only way to have a sample of them all and take a look is to check out the card system and the description below. I'd highly recommend that. I'll leave a load of playlists that I think that you guys will really enjoy, and well, who knows, I might even be making a Transformers playlist if you guys like the Transformers builds. And that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And this video subscriber shout out goes to Carter Schofner, who commented something very nice. By the way, I'm hoping I'm getting the name right. Who commented this? TSMC Minecraft, your so 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 awesomely awesomeness is awesome. You're so cool and Stella, you're awesome. I love your channel. Ever since I watched your first video, I was amazed. I love you and your channel so, 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 so much. I love your video so, so, so much. P.S. You've gotten very, 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 very good at building skills. And I just really appreciate that. I like that you took the time to type that out. That must have been a real... That, that was a long message, but there was a lot of awesomes in there too. But thank you so much, Carter, for your message. I really do appreciate that. It's a very nice thing to, to put on my video, and it brightened my day a little bit when I read it. I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description to your YouTube channel. Although you don't have any videos, I'm still going to leave it there anyway, because who knows, maybe you'll start making videos in the future. I've got no clue. Thank you so much to everybody like Carter, who does comment nice things like that, that likes videos, subscribes, clicks the little bell. I really do appreciate every single one of you that does do that thank you so much and it might not be new this time guys but absolutely could be you next time i'll see you in the next video